Reducing violence in Topeka, that's the new goal of a new coalition of area leaders. KSNT News reporter Dan Garrett is live at the Topeka Police Department with details on that new partnership. Dan. Jace, Brooke, Topeka Police and Washburn are showing extra support to a group of 23 churches known as Topeka Jump, who have already been working to reduce crimes in Topeka. Less than two weeks ago, Washburn football player Dewan Simmons was murdered at an off-campus party. His killer hasn't been caught, which has pushed Washburn's president and city leaders to make a change in public safety. We think we've got a great campus, but something like what occurred a couple of weeks ago can just happen. And so the idea is that you bring people together that can influence what people are doing and try to make certain that they are on the right path. So the city of Topeka and Washburn are teaming up with Topeka Jump, an organization that is working to reduce violence in Shawnee County. Our job as Jump is to bring the teams together and guide, help guide them with the help of the organization that has laid out the strategy that works. In the last year, overall crime is down, but the number of shootings has gone up. So far, there have been nine more shootings this year than during the same time last year. The city manager says law enforcement are working to reduce that number. It's a challenge for us, but we need to get those that have the guns in their hands to be removed. And so that's the effort that's been an underway for the last year. Trout says it's up to everyone to work with law enforcement to make Topeka a safer place to live. The group is working to come up with a specific plan to cut down on crime in Topeka, and they told me that they hope to have a plan by the end of next month. Live in front of the police station, Dan Garrett, KSNT News. All right, Dan, looking forward to seeing what they come up with. Now, you can find more details about Jump's mission at KSNT.com.